I'm Mike Brooks once again in the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen with our good friend Chef Valerie from the OUTU School of Community Mes Medicine. Zucchini boats is yeah. what we're making. This is something that the kids can help with? Totally help. Yeah. So we're going to start with some zucchini and obviously the name mm -hmm. zucchini boats. Okay. So <laughs> we're going to cut it in half and then we're going to actually scoop out. So this is one of the places where even really little kids can help with this part. Yeah. So we're going to scoop out the flesh and it's actually going to go get cooked and get added back in. So once we have um, a couple of boats made, they're going to go right onto the pan. Mm -hmm. So you would do this, maybe cut this other zucchini in two or three pieces, cut it in half, and do the exact same thing. Just with a regular spoon? Yeah, just a regular spoon. Yeah. And, you know, if you have like a melon baller or one of those fancy like tiny portion scoops, that works, you know, even better, but a spoon works great. Okay, so the filling for this is some mushrooms. So we have some really finely chopped mushrooms, a little bit of garlic, some finely chopped uh, red bell pepper, but the, well, lots of things could go in this. I mean, you could put peppers in this, you could put eggplant, even some lentils would be a good addition to this. So once that's nice and sauteed, um, you're gonna add kind of the, the guts. Okay, all, the, all that you scooped out, you yeah. put back in. Okay. So that's just gonna get really finely chopped. And I mean, the kids can help with this part too because zucchini is really soft. And so they could help with, you know, maybe a little bit smaller knife. Okay, so that's just going to go in and get sautéed really nicely. And so whenever the zucchini um, has cooked down a little bit, softened, reduced quite a bit, that's going to be your filling. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add some breadcrumbs. These are seasoned breadcrumbs. They have some uh, dried Italian herbs in there. So you could also use this filling for bell peppers or of course yellow squash which is almost the same thing but you could do this for bell peppers eggplant but just a nice little veggie filling yeah we're going to turn that off and then these are just going to get scooped in so once the mixture is a little bit cooler kids can definitely help with that or you could even move this mixture to a bowl yeah. so that they're not handling a hot pan and this just gets scooped in and they could make their own Absolutely. Like they were a big part of the process. Yeah, and you know, when they see what's in something, kids are more likely to want to eat it. So if you just wanted to serve your child this and it's like mystery whatever, mystery right. veg, they yeah. they don't know what this is. Okay, so we're gonna go a little bit on top with a little bit more breadcrumb and then just a sprinkle of nutritional yeast. And if you'll remember the nutritional yeast, we really love to use this because it's high in the B vitamins, mm -hmm. um, it's high in protein. And it, it tastes kind of like Parmesan cheese. Exactly. It's a great sub for Parmesan if you can't eat that for some reason. I'm going to okay? get some of this. Yeah. And this is just going to go into the oven for, say, 20 minutes or so. And this is our finished product. And look at that. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Very fun. You know, very entertaining for the kids to be able to get in the kitchen and help. Beautiful. That's the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen. Got to get that right, right? That's right. There we go. All right. We have this recipe and all the other recipes from Val on our website, kgrh.com. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.